blessings of Advent and congratulations for having survived and completed the spiritual reflective journey of the Gospel according to St. Duke. I pray that you have had a very meaningful and enriching spiritual journey experiencing the rich treasures of the mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning with the Annunciation to Mary of his birth and then the birth of Christ, his presentation in the temple, his baptism at the river Jordan, his temptation in the wilderness. Soon after, uh, with his Galilean ministry, preaching, teaching even through parables and his miracles, cures and healing and even raising the dead to life. All this leading up to his passion, death, resurrection, and ascension to the Father's glory. So keep the faith alive, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Rejoice in the Lord always. I pray that the word made flesh will always dwell in your heart, in your lives, and in your families too. And as you and together as you get ready to celebrate Christmas. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Hi there, this is Father Andrew Kui, Parish Priest of Holy Family Kajang. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as you go through a reflection of the Gospel of Luke. I hope that you will take this time to understand better this gospel by reflecting on its many chapters so that it will help you to have a much more meaningful Christmas. Once again, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and stay happy and good. See you then. Hi everyone. A blessed Christmas to all of you. May this Christmas fill your home with joy your heart with love, and your life with happiness. God bless you all. Hi everyone. I want to wish all of you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I wish to say congratulations to Monsignor Leonard Lexon and the team that made the St. Luke's uh, a gospel journey towards Christmas a beautiful one. I want to say thank you to all of you who made it possible. And I just want to say, although we cannot go for Christmas for masses, but always remember, you can receive Jesus. So I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget, smile always, for God loves you. Take care. Bye-bye. First and foremost, I take this opportunity to congratulate uh, each and every one of you for your faithful journey with St. Luke during the season of Advent. These restrictions has made it possible also for all of us to be more reflective uh, with the Word of God in this season of Advent. In the same way, I also would like to wish each and every one of you a blessed Christmas, not just to you, but also to your families and to all your loved ones. Wherever you are, stay safe. Let us be united in prayer. Blessed Christmas, everyone. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I wish you and your families a very blessed Christmas and a God-filled New Year. May God accompany you on your journey. Take care and God bless. Dear viewers of the Gospel of Luke journey during Advent, wishing all of you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May God bless you and your families. And even though we are all in in unusual times where we are distanced from each other. May the peace and love of Christ meet all of us in this Christmas celebrations. God bless you all. Peace be with you, dear friends. Today, a Savior has been born for us. He is Christ the Lord. Wishing all of you a blessed Christmas and a wonderful New Year 2021. Although we had a challenging year, but we are assured by the Lord that He is very much present in us. He is with us. Let us, with these words of assurance, 
continue and celebrate this Christmas with great peace, love and joy. God bless you and have a wonderful Christmas. Hi everyone. Christmas is the day of incarnation. God becoming man to establish an intimacy with each one of us. Somehow, this year, more than any other, due to the pandemic COVID-19, many of us could have marred this relationship because of our many distractions, perhaps even attractions. But because of His merciful love, once again, we are able to celebrate Christmas, reminding us to re-establish that intimacy so that we may be able to enjoy His love, joy, peace and hope. Dear sisters and brothers, I would like to wish you a joyous Holy Christmas and a blessed New Year. Take care to enjoy this life to the fullest. Best to you. Dear participants of the journey with Luke, I hope this journey from the temple with Zechariah until Jesus' ascension where the disciples went back to the temple praising God will be an occasion for us to open up the space within the temple of our hearts for this infant Jesus to be reborn in us. And hence, I'd like to wish each and every one of you a blessed Christmas. Let every heart prepare him room 
Sounding joy, sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let seas and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. Far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations bloom. The glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders and wonders of his love. 